Right, I've got a new detector. Uh, here you go. Whoops. AT Pro International. Uh, come back to AT Pro because I'm missing being able to go in rivers. So uh, uh, I did a deal with my e track and got this. Uh, happy with uh, I'm going to get a whirl on here for a couple of hours. It's not looking right promising that sky up there. So you never know, I might get rained off. But anyway, let's see. Get back to Yonk Feston. Well, I've got my new t shirt on and all. The White Rose Searchers. That's my group on Facebook. Uh, I'm getting 81, 82 here. So I want to do a live dig and it's just started spitting with rain. So I'm not bothered. It's. Uh, Detector's waterproof, so not to worry about. Right, let's have a look. See if I can find this. Right. Right, take a bit more out. So to start and remember my tripod, I've got a bloody tripod in car. I keep forgetting it. Somewhere. <sighs> Come on, let's have you. Might be somewhat good. Chuffy now. <laughs> I hate doing live digs. Oh, bollocks. There you go. Piece of tin can. Alley can. Chuffing else. No one give me 881. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, my first decent signal with my new AT Pro. Uh, it looks like an half a pence. Nice and green. Britannia on back. Yeah, 1861 that, I'm not sure. Yep, 1861. Victoria. Right, happy with that. There you go. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, my next signal. Feels like uh, pewter. <laughs> Feels like pewter, it's brittle and all. But what is it? No idea. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, getting a 93 on AT Pro here. And it looks to me a bit like a door handle. There you go, door handle. For I think I know. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, getting a 77, 78, 79 here. 
pretty shit. I'm getting there. Come on, you bloody clear now. Hey, Alps looking fancy. Just give me a minute to clean it up. Right, there's no dump back or inside to say it could be a brooch or out like that. I think myself, uh, possibly a furniture excursion. Right, any ideas? Answer on a postcard. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, my next signal. I wonder what it was first off, but I think it's just a piece of molten alley. Aluminium, aluminium, wherever you live. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, my next signal. It's a piece of lead, it were on the surface like that, I swung over it, I thought it were a piece of butt when I first saw it, I swung over it, and it's a piece of lead, as soon as I picked it up I knew what it was, it weighs a ton, put size on it, right, so there you go, right, I don't know what that black thing is there, it's an animal I want, but I want to investigate. Hey, <laughs> back to you in a bit. Right, my next signal it's a ring pull attached to an alicant top. Bleeding thing. Why do they give it such a good signal? Never mind, you got to dig them, you can't ignore them or you'll be ignoring loads more stuff. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, I've just switched fields, come from all here, all here, right. Let me first signal, I'm not sure if it's part of a toy car or what. Part of a toy anyhow, I think. But, uh, I don't know for sure. Right, back to you in a bit. Uh, I'm sorry for the wind anyhow if there's any wind but it was them beans I had this morning. Right, catch you in a bit. Right, my next signal, CJ's bottle cap. Chuff in now. Right, back to you in a bit. Right, my next signal. Uh, piece of lead. Round shaped, like a coin, like shaped wise, but uh, obviously we know it's not a coin. Right. So all right, back to you in a bit. Right, done. Had a couple of hours. Uh, here's all my junk. First find, plastic soldier. Now I've got that little bit here. I think it's pewter, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, pewter. That there, I'm not sure it's a toy, kids toy like, car, plane or something daft. That there's a, I think it's a draw knob. No idea about this one. Could be off furniture, not sure. Nice patterning on it anyhow. A uh, piece of round lead. Coin shaped, but not coin obviously. And then a Victoria's uh, half penny. 1861 I think she is. Right. 
so that's my first session back out with uh, Garrett AT Pro, I've loved it it's been brilliant, took me about a minute to get used to it uh, what I use is uh, Pro Zero mode, no discrimination uh, just listen to the sounds look at numbers when you when you want to check, double check uh, can't fault machine, absolutely brilliant uh, these all upgrade from Garrett Ace to a Garrett AT Pro and leave it in standard mode They're just wasting the money because all they use in it it's just same as a Garrett Ace in uh, standard mode I need to put it in Pro Zero mode it's a lot faster, deeper and uh, tells you a lot more about your target while it's in grand so them who's using standard mode on your AT Pros waking up um, put it in Pro mode learn right <laughs> I hope I ain't offended anybody in saying that but it's, it's just waste of money leaving it in standard mode it's like having a Garrett Ace all over again, so... Right, anyway, I'll shut up. Talking a lot of bollocks. Right, so... Please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, and until next time, see ya.